to Lisbon. More than 10 million tourists come to the Portuguese capital each year. Visitors love to stroll through its narrow alleyways lined with cafes, bars, and restaurants. The Casa de Pashtu is located on a side street in the city center. Within just a year, the restaurant has become an insider's hotspot. Chef Diogo Noranya previously worked in Michelin-starred restaurants. Standards here are similarly excellent, but the prices are not so high-end. My approach of the cuisine is uh, really much related to our roots as Portuguese, as a people. And I try to bring back some of the old techniques, some of the old uh, ingredients and the combinations of ingredients. And sometimes I twist a little bit. Noronha inherited his love of cooking from his grandmother. Her recipes and ideas remain a source of inspiration. He also owes his pension for traditional techniques to her. The chef cooks a lot of his dishes over charcoal. It always gives a special flavor to the food, you know, because you have all this smokiness, you know, with the vegetables, the grill, the, the fish, the meat. Uh, it creates all this intensity of flavors, the high uh, temperature. The restaurant's interior also evokes a bygone age. It looks the way cafes and apartments did in Lisbon a hundred years ago. Even the weekly menu is printed with a press that dates from the 1920s. My dishes are really much connection, connected with the ambience of the restaurant, so where people can really enjoy uh, a more than approach to traditional cuisine and they can feel really that they are at home. Today he's going to cook a dish for Euromax based on an old recipe. He buys his vegetables and herbs from his friend Angelo Rocha, who set up the first organic supermarket in Lisbon back in the 1970s and sells many locally grown specialties, like this wild cabbage. It's called grelos, and uh, these ones, they come from a little farmer in the north. We eat it in the winter time, and uh, you, you can eat it with fish or with meat. It's really uh, something we eat a lot. Diogo Noronha's main course dish comprises slow-cooked pork cheeks with braised cabbage and root vegetables. The meat is particularly flavorful because the Iberian pigs that it comes from are fed exclusively on acorns and roots. Okay, so here we have the pork cheeks. We put them with uh, wine and a little bit of brandy. They marinate for 12 hours and after we cook them with some aromatics and uh, slow cook them in the oven for about three to four hours and this is the end result. The pork cheeks are only added to the gravy for about 10 minutes but the chef has been reducing the marinade for hours to make it thicker and browner. The cabbage has also been braised in the oven with herbs and tomato paste. Now the chef is warming it up in the meat stock. Then he adds bok choy and the wild cabbage. Spinach is an alternative. They give a different kind of flavor profile to the dish and uh, they are more chewy, more different texture also. Then finally, the parsley roots and the baby carrots are fried in hot olive oil. This is uh, my dish of a uh, Portuguese version of uh, pork cheeks with uh, cabbages and wood vegetables. The chef recommends serving the dish with a full-bodied Portuguese red wine. Food just like his grandmother made at Diogo Noronha's Casa de Pashtu in Lisbon.